Alright, so I will use those two cards against him with this card, Skyscraper. I could win, but only if my next card is just as good as these two. Yeah, I'll do that. So let's check what I got. Alright, I got... Oh, shit! Polymerization! This will work perfectly with Avion and Persinatrix. Yeah! Let's do this shit. Let's do it. Alright! It's time to send you to the Shadow Realm. I'm going to use Polymerization to fuse together Elemental Hero, Versinatrix, and Avion to summon Elemental Hero, Flame Wingman. It's time for a review. Maria! So hey everybody, my name is Xing Shadow. Welcome to my review of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Uh, not just GX, I should say. Here's a lot of my, oh, most likely a lot of my actual Yu-Gi-Oh! physical copy games. I do have, I think, three or four digitally downloaded games on Xbox Live Arcade and PSN. But I'm gonna play, or not sorry, play. Talk about my most played Yu-Gi-Oh! GX game to date. Uh, some of these are 5Ds and original, and not including Zexel. I'm going to be talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force 2 for the PSP. Reason, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 3 never came out to North America that I'm aware of, but it did come out to Europe and uh, PSP is region free, so you could download anywhere. I have played uh, Tag Force 3, but um, Tag Force 2 is where, really where I kind of started in the Tag Force series. I do have Tag Force 4 right there, Tag Force 4, and I know there's 5 and 6, but let's just get on to the review of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, Tag Force 2. Get a load of this! Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force 2 was released in September 18th of 2007. That was 9 years ago by Konami, which we all know is not the best company as of right now, or, well, hopefully just for now. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 2, uh, sorry, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force 2 is the second uh, game in the franchise of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force series. There's about six of them. So, the first three is on the ta uh, on the GX uh, franchise, and then um, the other three is on, or sorry, based off the 5D franchise. There was none based off the original or onward past 5Ds. So, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force 2 is only on the PSP, and honestly, this is my most, or second most, played game on the PSP. I would only duel alone, that's all I did. I never dueled online because the game never had an online feature. For a game console handheld that can go online with near-perfect connection, you couldn't get online to duel other duelists around the world? Uh, that's kind of like saying don't even bother. Now, at later at some point, I th believe they did add it in ins into as a free installation, or I could be thinking of Tag Force 4. I am a little fuzzy on the information and memory. So, I know one of the two, or both of them, who knows really, have internet connection, so everything I said could be flawed. So, this is what I do know. The game is based off all the way to the third season of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. So, basically where uh, Jaden becomes, uh, uh, what was it, the, the, freak, the Emperor or something like that? I, I, I totally forget, sorry. Uh, but, um, it's not coming to mind. I know it can come to mind, but it's not coming to mind. I kind of actually want to look it up myself, but, uh, here, like, I'll just seriously look it up because it's going to bother me. Um, 
He will become the emperor of something. <clears throat> All right. So, other than that, I was going to tell you that uh, once I find information. Uh, Jaden is the main guy from the series, right? So, uh, oh, the Supreme King. He is the Supreme King. So up to that point in the series, he's the Supreme King. It does not go past uh, season three. There is a season four. But the thing is, season four has never came to us ever in North America. It was dubbed over. It's not on Hulu. It's not on Netflix. I don't even think it's on Crunchyroll. So I would have to say I recommend going to a website to go watch that. But that's, you know, off topic. So Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, Tag Force 2. Uh, because it was released nine years ago, I, this is my most played Yu-Gi-Oh! game to date. Uh, I still like going back to it every once in a while. Now... Here's a little sad news I want to talk to you guys about. Um, this is one of the games I lost my save data, data because the SD card, I guess, wasn't the best. So I only lost save data on this and two other games. But the other two games, I was like, I wasn't too bad about it. But this one, I was really sad. Not mad, sad. <clears throat> also, uh, when you do get Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force 2, a brand new copy, I should say, or you'd be surprised if you still have it in the case, uh, you get three limited cards, uh, being Mad Reloader, Dark Eater, or, yeah, Dark Brutal or Dark Eater, I can't really read that, sorry, and Chaos Burst. Uh, I'm actually holding the case in my hands, and honestly, it's if you don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh!, it's, it's a little complicated, so, well, complicated somewhat to explain, but easy to play, I guess, if that makes sense. It's more that if, you sh if people show you how to do it, they're not just talking about it. So, I played Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, my, the whole time since it's been released. I never knew how to play the card game. Well, I for some point, but the show was basically teaching you how to play the card game. Including when the Domino City, like, you know, rules was kicking in. They kicked in for real. And then, uh... I learned about fusions, ritual summons, special summons. This game series was based off basically fusion. Just fusion. This whole series is fusion. Uh, the, seri the, the, the cards that uh, Jaden used, and in, in, by the way in GX, is elemental hero cards and Neospatian. While I don't use Neospatian monsters, I use elemental heroes. So yes, I do use the elemental hero cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force 2. Not gonna lie, there is times I still lose. I'm not gonna lie. In the game itself, uh, I think the best teammate in the game is either a Jaden himself, if if you're like me playing Elemental Hero uh, deck just like him, or depending, uh, Jesse and uh, Zane. So this game is just—it's really fun. Like I don't know what other people's most favorite. Uh, Tag Force game there is, but my personal favorite is two. Now I, like I said, I played three, but I didn't grow up with three. I didn't really play as much as three. Three has a lot of potential. Uh, there's some cards in uh, three as an elemental hero wise I can use, but in Tag Force two I can't use. Like for example, Woodman, I can't use him. Uh, I think I can't use uh, elemental hero uh, Prism, Prism, Prisma, or something like that. Uh, and I and I forget what's not, what's not, um, and any monsters in season four I can't use either. So, yeah, um, this game is very very long. You have to beat the game with every single main, every single main character in the game. So there's Jaden, Jesse, Cyrus, uh, Hasselberry, um, Zane. If I didn't say it already. Uh, just uh, Alexis, um, Aster, uh, I think Chumley. I, I don't think he's in this one, though. No. Um, I can't think of some of the rest, but, you know, the characters you would know. Oh, the, uh, Chaz and uh, the smart guy. What's the smart guy's name from Raw Yellow? Which I'll explain what that is in a second. Uh, It's seriously not coming to mind. I don't know. He's the smart one. Uh, but him. <laughs> if you know who I'm talking about, cool. Uh, tell me in the comments below. I honestly can't remember right now. So, 
uh, if it oh Bastion, Bastion, that's it. Also Crowler, Bonaparte, and uh, other people. I mean, even, I think even the well, I don't think about the villain, but a lot of these duelists you have to play the game to basically beat the game. Now I'm not gonna lie that this game is actually pretty tedious when it comes to actually beating the game because it says go. So you have to play as yourself. You you make your own character. You know, like like a main character. So you're you're a creative character. You know, by yourself, by made by you. A lot of games do that. And then your teammate, because the name of the game is called Tag Force. So every duel in this game is team based. So that could be a big disappointment for a lot of people. Uh, I do think there there is moments that you could do. You know, single. Uh, battles, I believe. Not sure in the story mode, but in all like by yourself, you can. But that's what really, in my opinion, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force 2 really shines for me. Maybe it can all turn in like an instant because your teammate fucks up and using like, for example, uh, fucking, what's that one called? Fucking, uh, Power Bond like Zane or Cyrus. Or he sacrifices your own two monsters, but yeah, you're going to use him to summon up another monster of your own. Or fuse him, or something you're going to do later on. And he, he or she can fuck up your thing in like a minute or two. Or maybe they can help you in like an instant. And like, oh my god, thank god that they actually got this card. So stuff like that happens a lot. Um, so you have to kind of gain trust to a lot of these uh, characters. You have to pick the games, like I said, all those names. As in give the, uh, like antagonist a certain food or you have to walk with them so many times or you have to duel with them so many times so this game is extremely long trust me very long uh i'm pretty sure you could probably just you know hack the game or cheat it or whatever i get that but if you actually want to play legitly it's a very long game i don't know if there's a speed run tactic of the game but it's a very long game regardlessly uh, uh by the way oh here, I'm just looking at the back of it. The memory stick duo memory for it, it's only 500 kilobytes. That's absolutely nothing. Also, uh, it also treats yourself as in getting new cards, just like you do in reality. You want to buy Elemental Hero cards? Well, there's an Elemental Hero pack. So you buy like seven, you get like, I don't know, like a thousand dollars or something like that. If you want like, the whole thing, it's two thousand. I don't know. Something like that. If you buy like a pack, it's like 200 DP, which stands for dual points or something like that. Uh, so, I really do like this game a lot, uh, but like I said, I feel like, I feel like personally, you should only beat this game once. Why? So, the game is so long. If you are dedicated, you're a straight up hardcore Yu-Gi-Oh! fan, I have to say, go for it. Why not, right? But, in my own opinion, I love this game. This is my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! GX uh, Tag Force game there is, but there's maybe better ones. I like I said, I tr only tried out a little bit of Tag Force Three. That could be the best one for the GX series. Uh, and then there's also you know uh, Tag Force Four, Five, and Six from the Five D series. So I have no idea. Um, but from that point, uh, it really depends on you of of your playstyle. Also in uh, the card game, you, you could be a defender, you could be an attacker, you could be a you know a f like a like a straight up wall or whatever you know it's just the way you play the game and honestly I play the game not to just say oh I played the game to win I literally have I play the game to have fun and yeah it's gonna be sometimes that you have like you're mad you're frustrated and it's not working for you and there's always a whole you can quit the uh, the match but yet you lose the match because uh, your teammate also has to do the same thing but it, it really is something for me. And honestly, uh, if the game wasn't enough for you, this game could connect to Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Dawn of Destiny. Oh, wait, Dawn of Destiny or something like that? Duel of Destiny? Something for the PS2. Oh, let me look really quick. The, the Destiny of... The, the Destiny of something. The Destiny of something for the PS2. I'm sorry, it's not coming to mind. Um, once you connect that with the USB port... Uh, for the PSP USB onto your PS2 to your PSP, you will get more dual points, more cards, and special something. I forget what. 
um, just by having the game. And honestly, I don't think you have to really play it. Maybe you do, I'm not sure. I haven't actually really, really tried. I have done it once. I do have the game, by the way, the other one, the Duel of Dustin, or like that, for the yeah, for PS2. And it does give me all the cards I need, and basically an expansion, because that game uh, expanded into this game. So, yeah, think of it like that. So, um, if you're a big Yu-Gi-Oh! fan, please tell me in the comments below, what is your favorite deck? No lie, what's your favorite deck? I don't even care if you can tell me, oh, it's just the original Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Like, I don't care. It, it could be the useless deck of all time. No lie, I don't know what it could be. It could be the, no offense, any card. It could be Elemental Heroes. It could be the, uh, I don't know, Warrior Monsters, Dragon. It could be uh, uh, Blackwing. It could be Synchro or Tuner or or Lava. Any, any freaking types of monster cards, your favorites. Please let me know in the comments below. I mean, I'm kind of curious. Uh, I guess I have a little, you know, ex uh, way to throw it in. What cards or decks I have personally now? I do have in real life uh, Elemental Hero deck, a Beatdown deck, which stands for this deck can basically literally beat you down. Card, sorry, monster, spell, or trap card wise. Uh, not to like, you know, it, it it's a powerhouse. It kind of what it is, but not like. It can destroy everything in one go. No, 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 no. I have some, you know, uh, sympathy. And then um, other ones are like uh, Machine and Tuner and Magician. And I'm working on another one really slowly, but I am getting there. So it's really what I'm curious about. So, anyways, uh, Yu Gi Oh! GX High Force 2. It's ready D for everyone, and I do mean for everyone. I want everyone to try this game out. Uh, if not, and if you don't want to do the second one, I would recommend the first one, which I did not really mention. The first one, I do own the first one, but Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 2 is the one I played the first. The very first one in the series of the Tag Force series, and it's the one I really love the most. So, um, yeah. My review on Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force 2, I have to give it... Um, seriously, because of the online play, the tagging, you know, with the teammates, and all the cards up to the GX uh, series from Season 3, which I really, really love. I, I, not just because of nostalgia, I'm hoping not really based on nostalgia, and just my favorite cards in the series, I have to give this game an 8 out of 10. Reason just for all that. But the one thing I do hate the most about this game is how long this game is. It expects you to beat the game with every freaking character to unlock every freaking card. Which, yes, there is an actual uh, uh, system to actually make you grab these cards. Like, okay, so if you have an, an actual Yu Gi card, go grab it. Go grab it right now. I'll give you a second. second. Just pause it, actually. Pause the video. Alright, so you have that Yu Gi card. Now, on the bottom left of that card, there is a several digit number, uh, you know, code or something. And you will put that code into the game. It gives you that exact card in the game. But you, like, there's a penalty for it or something like that. Uh, so I forget what it is, but you can put that card into the game, which I think I used, like, maybe three or four cards in general. But, uh, yeah. Now, at a certain point, some of those cards will not, will cannot be into the game because, like, let's say, uh, Zexo monsters, or say Zexos, uh, overlay monsters or number monsters from like Zexo, they cannot be in this game because they don't exist yet. So stuff like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, like I said, the whole story mode it kind of really bothers me. I do like the whole online multiplayer situation that you do with this game. That's really what this game shines for me. And, like I said, I'm a big Advent fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Uh, it's my favorite in the series. I know a lot of people hate this one. I, I know, I'm aware. Uh, my least favorite one is Zaxxel at the moment. I have not seen Arc 5. If anyone's curious, I have seen all of the original 5Ds, GX, but not Zaxxel and Arc 5. So, it's to let you all know, I do have also uh, the movies, which I've seen both movies. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie and Yu-Gi-Oh! 
uh, 3D uh, Bonds Beyond Time, the you know the 10th anniversary movie. So I, I seen it. I am very aware of the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, franchise. So <clears throat> I still card I still collected card games to date. I recently have gotten uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Master of Pendulum or Pendulum. Uh, it says Pendulum, but sure, why not? Pendulum Structure Deck and the Dark Legion Starter Deck, including, I haven't opened this one yet, the Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, uh, was it, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi's Legendary Deck, uh, Holiday 2015, uh, bundle. So, anyways, uh, that's be it for today. Thank you for watching. Oh, I'm sorry. Should you... Own it, rent it, all that stuff. I know, sorry. I give it an 8 out of 10. But, honestly, and I probably already put it down in, in the in the video. You might already see it right here. It's probably been talking the whole time. Showing, sorry. I would have to say... Mm, it's very picky. It's either own it or rent it. I would have to say rent it this is something that if you're not into you i would say give it a shot if you if, if it has any spark of interest for you i would say give it a shot uh it's probably the easiest to get into because of so many opportunities but if you are a diehard fan of Yu-Gi-Oh or already know how to play the games and you just want to jump into the series again i would say own it because you own it if you don't like it. You you know sell it away, but at least you will play it. So, yeah, just rent it. So, anyways, once more, one more time, everybody. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I see you guys all for the next Black Blue reviews, which I don't know what's gonna be. And uh, of course, if this was at all uh, inspiring for you guys to try out this game or not, uh, you know, please smash that like button. You know. It really does help. So, yeah. Anyways, smash the motherfucker. <laughs> Anyways, once again, I'll see you guys all for the next one, alright? Get your game on.